beautiful King, excellent God, we bow before your throne. Our glory, O oh God, our beautiful King, excellent God, we bow before your throne. You are the glory of God. You are the beautiful King. An excellent God. We bow before your truth. We bow before your truth. Worship at your feet. We bow before your truth. You are the glory of God. Lord, we bow before your truth. We worship at your feet. We bow before your truth. You are the glory of God. Glory of God. Beautiful King. Excellent God. We bow before your truth. Glory of God. A beautiful King. Excellent God. We bow before your truth. We bow before your truth. Worship at your feet. We bow before your truth. You are the glory of God. We bow before your truth. Worship at your feet. We bow before your truth. You are the glory of God. You are God with who are ready to come. Jesus, Jesus. And in you I trust, but let's say in your hands. Jesus, you are the miracle walking God. You are God with who are ready to come, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, and in you we trust, our oh, last in your hand, Jesus, you are the miracle walking God, Father, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Lord. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, Alpha. And Omega, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Covenant keeping God, you are Yahweh, oh, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Lord. You are Yahweh, oh, Alpha and Omega, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Faithful God, faithful God, faithful God, faithful God. Only you deserve the glory in my life. Only you deserve the glory, oh. Faithful God, faithful, faithful God, faithful God, oh. faithful God, faithful God, only you deserve the glory in my life, only you deserve the glory, oh, faithful God. The miracle working God, oh, you are the faithful God. The land of the tribe of Judah, you are the faithful God. 
You wounded Messiah Jesus. You are the faithful God. Only you deserve the glory. If I miss tonight, only you deserve the glory. Oh, faithful God. I love them all of Calvary. For he has done so very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins. I say the Holy Ghost to me. I love the man of Galilee. I love the man of Galilee. For he has done so very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins. I say the Holy Ghost to me. I love the man of Cali. I love the man of Cali. For he has done so very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins and said a holy ghost to me. I love the man of Cali. Miracle working God, miracle working God, come and do the miracle, the miracle tonight. Come and do the miracle, miracle tonight. Covenant keeping God, you are the covenant keeping God. Come and keep the covenant, the covenant tonight. Come and keep the covenant, the covenant tonight. Bondage breaker, Jesus bondage breaker. Come and break every bondage, the bondage is not alive. Come and break every bondage, the bondage is not alive. Obstacle crusher, hey, Jesus obstacle crusher. Come across. The obstacles, the obstacles in our life tonight. Come and crush all the obstacles, the obstacles tonight. You are the obstacle crusher. Jesus, obstacle crusher. Come and crush every obstacle, obstacles in our life, Papa. Come and crush every obstacle, obstacles in our life. You are the obstacle crusher, Jesus. Obstacle crusher, come and crush every obstacle, obstacle in our life, Papa. Come and crush every obstacle, obstacle tonight. You are Yahweh, your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God, your name is Yahweh. You are Yahweh, your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. You are the Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh, Lord. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Be thou exalted, O God, above our heavens tonight. Be thou exalted, O God, above our heavens. May thy glory be above all the earth, Papa. May thy glory be above all the earth. Be thou exalted among your children tonight, Papa. Be the ones who stand among your people oh, tonight, Papa. May thy glory be above all oh, the ages. Let thy glory be above all oh, the ages. Be the ones who stand oh, God above all oh, demons. Be the ones who stand oh, God above all oh, sickness. Be the ones who stand oh, God. 
above every disappointment, Jesus. Be the words of God, above all failure. Jesus, be the words of God, among your children tonight. Be the words of God, above all the earth. Be the words of God, above all the earth. Be the words of God, above all trouble. May thy glory be above all the earth, Lord. Let thy glory be above all the earth. You are Lord, I the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are Lord, I the miracle worker, the living God, oh, the obstacle crusher, the mighty God. You are the key of life and death. You are the living God. Let thy glory be above all the earth tonight. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Be thou as a son of God above all the heavens. Be thou as a son of God above all the heavens tonight. Let thy glory be above all the earth, Papa. Let the glory be above all the earth. Reign Jesus, reign Lord, reign Master Jesus, reign. Bring down your power in our midst. Reign Master Jesus, reign tonight. Reign Lord, reign Lord, reign Master Jesus, reign. Bring your glory in our midst. Reign Master Jesus, reign. Come and reign tonight. Reign tonight. Bring Master Jesus free. Bring your power in our midst. Bring Master Jesus free, Papa. Rain, oh, rain, Papa. Bring Master Jesus free. Bring down your healing in our midst. Bring Master Jesus free. Bring Jesus, rain, Lord. Bring Master Jesus free. Bring anointing in our midst. Rain Master Jesus Rain, Papa Rain Lord, Rain Master, Rain Master Jesus Rain, bring that young glory in our life. Rain Master Jesus Rain, as your children gather to you tonight. Rain Master Jesus Rain, bring that young power in our midst. Rain Master Jesus Rain, as your children have gathered tonight, Baba. Rain Master Jesus Rain. Bring down your power in our midst. Rain, Master Jesus, rain. Rain, Lord. Rain, Lord. Rain, Master Jesus, rain. Bring down your healing in our midst. Rain, Master Jesus, rain. Rain, Lord. Rain, Lord. Rain, Master Jesus, rain. Bring down your power in our midst. Rain, Master Jesus, rain. Come and rain tonight. Rain tonight. Rain Master Jesus reign. Bring down your glory in our midst. Rain Master Jesus reign. Father, rain Lord. Rain Lord. Rain Master Jesus reign. Confirm your words in our midst tonight. Rain Master Jesus reign. Come and rain. Biko. Rain Jesus. Rain Master Jesus reign. Bring down anointing. Bring down the healing. Rain Master Jesus reign. Rain, Lord, rain, Lord, rain, Master Jesus, rain. Bring down restoration in our knees. Rain, Master Jesus, rain. Rain, Lord, rain, Lord, rain, Master Jesus, rain. Bring down your glory in our knees. Rain, Master Jesus, rain. Amen. Send out your power. We beg you, O God. Send out your Holy Ghost. We say, Amen. Father, send out anointing. We pray to you, O God. Send out your power. We say, man, we need your presence. We beg you, O God. 
we need a voices, we say amen. We need your healing, we beg you, O oh God. For the sin of your power, oh, we say amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, the mighty God. There is no one that is like you. Father, we have gathered in your presence. We have come, Lord, to worship you, to adore you, for you are a God worthy to be adored. Father, the hour has come. Come and manifest your power, mighty Jesus. Come and take over this prayer meeting, Lord. Let not it be said that your children have gathered in vain. Hell, Jesus. Jesus. The Bible says in Luke 17, verse 37, that where the echoes have gathered, there is the body. In other words, where the body is, there the echoes gather. Mighty Jesus, you are the body, the bread of life. Your eagles, your children have gathered to be fed with the bread of heaven. So, Father, come down and take over this prayer meeting. In spite of our sins, it has pleased you to come to answer the prayers of your children. May it please you tonight to be here to take over this prayer. Your word says, ask and you shall receive. Now we are asking you, Lord, to come down and step into this place of prayer in this holy space and make it indeed a place to encounter you, Lord. Come and take over. Let your angels come down. Oh, mighty Jesus. Let the saints come down. Let the entire of heaven descend at this hour. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We cover this prayer meeting with the blood of Jesus. All the instruments you are going to use in this prayer meeting, Father, all are covered with the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the miracles we are going to do tonight. Be glorified, mighty God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, El Shaddai. In the name of Jesus, we ask that your blood shall wash us clean such that we shall be whiter than snow. In Jesus' name, amen, and amen. And amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In we Jesus' name. The hour comes, Father, glorify your name. The hour has come, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour comes, the hour comes, the hour of mercy has come. The hour come, the hour of favor come, Father glorify your name. The hour has come, he must glorify your name. The hour has come. <laughs> My dear people of God, the hour has come. The hour to glorify our Lord Jesus. The hour to journey with Him. The hour of Jesus. Through the stations of the cross. Even in these stations of the cross, we have the opportunity to journey with Jesus and his mother. 
as Jesus carries the cross, Mother Mary follows behind. There's also a crowd following Jesus, but we're not part of that crowd. We're not part of the world that crucified Jesus. We are following the camp of our Blessed Mother, teaching us how to imitate the footsteps of Jesus, how to follow Him. And as we follow our Blessed Mother in imitation of the steps of Jesus, we shall surely be where the Lord is. He who follows the footsteps of his Father will surely be where his Father is. And that is what our Blessed Mother is here tonight to help us to achieve for what is life to be without Jesus. And our mother is here to help us to be with Jesus. Our mighty Jesus, we thank you for this opportunity to journey with you. You have made this journey to die for your children with your infinite love. So many times we have sinned. But we repent sincerely because you have given all the grace to come to you and to get reconciled with you. Increase our love for you, Almighty Jesus. Pardon us our sins, every sin we have committed that may be an obstacle to this prayer. We ask that in the early hours of this prayer, may you pardon us our sins. Our Blessed Mother, our sins have not only wounded your son, it has also wounded you and even wounded us. But the wounds our sins have caused your son and caused you have come to be the healing we are receiving to bandage our wounds, to heal our wounds. So, Mama, as we go through the teachings of the cross that you are leading us, may you, in every station, manifest the power of your Son. Talk to your Son on our behalf. Join us in talking to Him, for by so doing, He will answer the prayers of your children. Because our prayers become yours. He hears no more our own voice, but your voice speaking for us. He sees no more our hands but yours, presenting our petitions to him. We are not even worthy to approach his presence on account of our sins. But you have carried us under your mantle, unveiled your immaculate heart that your son loves so much. And by so doing, you bring us to his presence. And our petitions are attended to. So even as we have come to these stations of the cross, in which you are going to lead us yourself to approach your son, may you, O oh Blessed Mother, Help us 
to have a quality prayer, a quality time with your son. Let this prayer become the avenue to obtain virtues, to obtain grace, and the favor of heaven. And through this prayer, let miracles be received. Especially the miracle of a sinner becoming a saint. The miracle of coming to your son and taking him as our Lord and Savior. And standing by our decisions. To declare him our Lord. So, blessed mother, since you are the queen of angels, we ask that in the course of the prayer, let all the angels come down. For they cannot be far from their queen. Now you are here, may they be here also. You are their queen. You are also our queen. As you are leading us, let your angels move into the spiritual quarters and fight battles that need to be fought. Under the command of their queen, they fly into action in defense of your children. Let those who are barren receive children today, O oh Blessed Mother. Let those who are going through difficulties find the testimony that will provoke thanksgiving through this prayer. Let it be said through the prayer that the Lord has visited me and has done great things for me. And the holy is his name. May we echo that your prayer. O oh, our queen and our mother. This and many more we pray. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. And amen. Have your way, my Lord. Have your way. Have your way, my Lord. Have your way. Have your way tonight. Have your way. Oh, Lord. Have your way. Take control, my Lord. Take over. Have your way, my Lord. Have your way. Have your way in the midst. Have your way. Oh, Lord. Have your way, oh our God, have your way. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, Christ, and we praise thee. Because... By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. My dear friends in Christ, our Redeemer, our Savior, our King, Jesus, has been condemned to death. 
they judged against him and they sentenced him after Jesus have been scourged and a crown with thorns and was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. My dear people of God, what a moment of sorrow in the heart of our Blessed Mother. Seeing her son suffer the destiny of criminals. Oh, our Blessed Mother, your heart bleeds because of the sins of God's children. Your, son, your heart is broken when you see us living in sin. When you see us never going to take advantage of the love of your son. Your heart bleeds. Our sins have caused your son to be condemned to death. Our sins have also caused you to be in tears over the situation of Jesus. And our sin still does cause you tears. But we are asking you, in the course of the merits of this spiritual journey, this is sorrowful journey with your son and with you in the stations of the cross, help us to obtain the life of sanctity, the grace of sanctity. Help us to love holiness and righteousness. Help us in this prayer of the stations of the cross, even in this station, to journey with your son, to comfort him for the wounds our sins have caused him. The sacred heart is agonizing. And we know that the immaculate heart is also agonizing. O oh, our blessed mother, through this prayer, may the intentions of the sacred heart of Jesus come to pass that all may know, know Jesus. Our queen and our mother, help us to remain steadfast in our journey with Jesus. Help us to repent of our sins and help us, Mama, never to sin again. But to love your son who have loved us so much as to die for us. Even also to love you who first loved us. You loved us to the point of leading us to the mysteries of your son. O oh, our blessed mother, help us to do the will of your son. Many of your children are going through different stages of condemnation from the kingdom of darkness. Mama, through this prayer, release the stones of fire 
command your angels to release the arrows of fire into the territories of the powers of darkness and set their kingdom on fire. Destroy their mandates. Pull down their altars and temples. You pray to cause casualties in the kingdom of darkness. So that your children, whose destinies have been kept in the chambers of darkness, shall be delivered through the prayer. This and many more we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Ave Maria, O Mary, no mother, proudly the children of God, lean on thee. Thine are the graces of claim by another. Sinless and beautiful star of the sea. Mata, my belief, all I can know this. Pray for the children who call upon thee. Ave Santissima, Ave Purissima, Sinless and beautiful star of the sea. The second station, Jesus is made to bear his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My dear friends in Jesus and Mary, Jesus in this episode, is meant to bear his cross. In making this journey, Jesus carries a cross on his shoulders. As he was carrying the cross, he was thinking of us. His mind was on our welfare. Hell, our blessed mother was seeing her son carrying such a heavy cross. He took many soldiers to carry the cross and lift it on Jesus and place it on him. How come they expect one person, one man, to carry such a heavy cross that was difficult for many to carry? Now you can begin to see the pains our mother went through. But it is the weight of our sins that Jesus has taken upon him. Hell! He has taken our sins upon him and offered them to his father. Even the day that he was about to undergo, Jesus offered to his father. Put your, yourself in the shoes of our mother. How would you feel seeing your son carrying such a heavy cross? Not even for what he has done. My dear people of God, Jesus has also invited us to carry our cross and follow him. 
as a testament of our love for him. In Matthew 16, verse 24, and in Mark 8, verse 34, and in Luke 9, verse 23, and the Bible says, if anyone wants to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. This is Jesus talking to us. Carrying the cross is not optional for a true Christian. Every true child of God, a true Christian, must carry the cross. Oh, Jesus. And so Jesus says, in Matthew 10, verse 38, and if we do not take our cross and follow him, we are not worthy of him. Our blessed mother, your son, for love of us, has taken up the cross and has invited us to carry our cross and follow him. Help us to carry our cross and follow him. Help us to embrace all the suffering that your son has sent our way. For that suffering he has sent our way is that little cross he wants us to carry. Mama, it is painful. Our flesh rejects it. But because it has come from your son, we know that in his wisdom, this is a cross that will open the door for a life of glory. Through the merits of his pain, in carrying the cross, may we obtain his mercy. May we obtain even grace to carry ours with patience and with total resignation to the will of God. Mighty Jesus, when we look at what our sins have caused you, we feel sorry. We feel sorry. When we see your determination to carry the cross, we see the fullness of your love for us. Oh, Jesus, we love you. We repent of our sins. Help us to never sin again. But help us to love you always and to do that which is your will. Just like your Holy Mother prayed and said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Do with me whatever you will. So we say with our Blessed Mother, Do with me, do with us, our Lord. Whatever is you will it. This so many more we pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Give, give. Jesus, give us a hand. We want to do what you want to Lord. Give us a helping hand. Give, give, Baba, give us a helping hand, Lord. We want to go where you want to, Lord. Give us a helping hand, oh, Lord. Give, give, give us a helping hand, oh. We want to live as you want to, Lord. Give us a helping hand. The third station, 
Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My dear friends in Jesus and Mary, our Lord Jesus has fallen the first time under the weight of the cross. Think of this for a moment. Do you see the pains that Jesus went through as on struggling to carry that weight? He yielded to the weight of the cross. Our sins pushed Jesus down. Our Blessed Mother was there, helplessly watching and seeing the unfolding situations of her son. All she could do was to keep praying. Her son had already been scourged and had a crown of thorns on his head. And the soldiers were doing all sorts of things on Jesus. Some were spitting on him. They were using Jesus for entertainment. And so in this struggle, Jesus could not help it. He fell down. Help, Jesus. Jesus was in so much pain when he fell. Even before he fell, he was in so much pain. In fact, he could barely walk. But motivated by love for us, he had to carry the cross. Even when he fell down, Jesus, motivated by love, got up and continued the journey. The weight of our sins adds to the suffering of Jesus. The weight of our sins makes the suffering of Jesus infinitely worse. We look unto Jesus who have chosen to suffer for us this way. And we ask him to pardon us for the ways we have allowed our sins to break his heart, to cause him sorrow, to wound the sacred heart. Mighty Jesus, through this fall, through, this, through the, the merits of this first fall, Deliver your children who have fallen into sin. Also deliver us from falling into sin. Also help us not to fall into sin. And should we have fallen or should we fall into sin by your mercy? Remind us of the sacrament of reconciliation, the sacrament of penance that you have given us in the church. Help us to have the grace to reconcile with you 
so that the sin does not see the light of the next day. Let our sin die in the season of darkness. Our blessed mother, your son has loved us so much that we are indebted to him. Since it is often said that love begets love, therefore, by your intercession, obtain for us the grace to love your son, to return his love with love. And since he hates and detests sin, help us to reproach sin and to do everything within the grace given to us to avoid the sin. Our Blessed Mother, you are the model of love. You have always shown love to us. As a good mother, you have always consoled us. You have always reconciled us with your son. Even when we get lost in the pit of sin, you don't give up on us. You still bring us back home. Mama, we thank you. We plead with you to help us to steadfastly follow the ways of your son and never to desire the ways of sin again. Help us to love your son always and to do what he wills. When we fall, Mama, pray for us that we may obtain the grace to stand up and continue our journey. Blessed Mother, even now what we are in this third station, reflecting on the fall, the first fall of your son, we are bringing to you the entirety of the fallen humanity. Intercede for us that humanity may go back to their Savior, to the one that has given him life. Where our businesses have fallen, Mama, step into that business. Because when you step in, it will stand. Where your children have fallen into sickness, step in, Mama. Obtain for us the healing of your son. Where we have fallen into darkness, help us to come to light. Mama, carry us. Lift us up. Help us, for you have gone far in suffering for us. Also, Mama, steadfastly carry us to the end. Do not allow us to escape your mighty hands. These are many more we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen and amen. And uh, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed Lord, on Corinth's mountain, let to take all things away. Let a drop of the rich fountain, I tremend the strong some faith. Sacred Savior, Sacred Savior, lonely heart, thy feet we pray. Blessed love, what sense of pardon in thy love, 
our souls confide by thy groan within the garden, by the death which thou hast died. Let thy passion, let thy passion evermore with us abide. So shall peace, sweet peace be given, purchase of thy precious pain. So shall earth fall into heaven, since for us the love was played. Dear Redeemer, dear Redeemer, thou dost not have thy event. Dear Redeemer, dear Redeemer, thou dost not have thy event. The fourth station. Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by thy holy cross you have redeemed the world. My dear friends, Jesus met his mother along his way of suffering. Along the way of suffering. Jesus met a woman in suffering, the mother. Mother and son loved each other so deeply beyond what words could describe. And because they have loved each other so deeply, so deeply is their suffering. And so this heart of Jesus that was in sorrow is also the heart of Mary that was in sorrow. Oh, Jesus. We see Jesus looking at the mother. You see him expressing an honor to the mother. He who taught us to obey our father and our mother. Now honors his mother. Would he teach us to honor our parents and fail to honor his mother? Of course, we know the answer. Jesus would never fail to honor his mother. Even when surrounded by the sea of sorrow, Jesus, on having the opportunity to honor the mother, gave his mother an honor. No one could hear the conversation between Mary and Jesus, but they conversed. The sacred heart and the immaculate heart conversed. The world was so busy with killing Jesus that they could not hear the conversation between son and mother. Oh, Jesus. There is a great power in love. Love has its own language. It's only when we find ourselves in the frequency of love that we hear the language of love. The people who were there, 
who were, whose mission was to kill Jesus. We are far away from tuning into the frequency of the divine. Right there in the presence of their God and his mother, they failed to recognize them. My dear friends in Christ, even in this episode, as Jesus honors the mother, so we are asking our blessed mother to help us to honor her, to help us to be truly devoted to her. When we are devoted to her, we honor Jesus by honoring the mother whom he honors. Our blessed mother, help us to remember in our hearts the sufferings of your son, the suffering that he went or he underwent for us. O oh, our blessed mother, what you saw when you saw your son is a tale of many stories. Even now what you see in the world that have embraced darkness and rejected your son is another tale of many stories. We come to you, Blessed Mother, that by your intercession may we come back to you as a people, as a nation, as a society. May we come back to you. Coming back to you that you may lead us your son. That is what you want. To come to you as mother. So that you lead us to the father. Our blessed mother. This ministry is a ministry that you and your son have brought at a time like this to increase our devotion to you and to love your son. Sustain this ministry. Do not allow this ministry to suffer harm in the hands of of the kingdom of darkness. Incubate this ministry under your canopy, under your mantle. Even in this fourth station, as you meet your, your son, may you meet us in our families now. May you meet us in our places of suffering. You meet your son in his season of suffering. In his season of sorrow. Mama, meet us in our own season of sorrow. Do something concerning what we are going through. No mother rejects her children. Not even when their children are suffering. Mama, many a time we sin and we suffer the pains of the sin. And we cry. Even that we are asking you, help us. Help us, blessed mother. For those who are sick in the hospitals, May you get into the ICUs, the emergency units, even the elderly homes, the psychiatric homes, 
and they sprinkle the blood of your son on your people. Let the healing take place even now. When Jesus met you, he was threatened. If you meet us in our situations, we shall be threatened. So, Mama, meet us. Those families, marriages that are at the verge of collapse, Mama, meet them. In John 2, verse 1 and following, you met the bride and bridegroom whose wedding was about to suffer a shame. You came into the situation. You brought the matter to your son. And the, the shame was taken away. You discussed your, the situation with your son and the result was the conversion of water to wine. Sweet wine. Mama, when you visit us, we know that things cannot be the same. So visit us, O oh Blessed Mother, so that our empty pots shall be filled with sweet wine again. Visit our coas and the cold relationship with your son and the spark the fire of his love in our hearts. Those children who do not want to go to church, who do not want to serve your son, who disobey their parents, Mama, step into the, such a families, arrest those children. We are standing a gap for such a families and we are praying that those children be arrested, even spouses. Or families with a spouse, husband or wife, that have no time for prayer, no time for relationship with Jesus. Do not go to church, or go to church, but it just as, as a social event, not as a spiritual experience or event. We ask you, Mama, let there be a turnaround. Visit such families, and drive out of such people, such places, Every spirit that is sponsoring, walking on the highway to hell. Destroy such spirits, O oh Blessed Mother. Mighty Jesus, we love you. We repent of our sins. Help us never to sin again. Help us to love you always and to do that which is your will. These and many more we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Holy Mother, Holy Mother, oh, sorrowful Mother, sorrowful Mama, oh, Mama, we are here begging you to pray for us. Holy Mother, Holy Mother. Mama, we are here begging you to intercede for us. Holy Mother, Holy Mother, help of Christians, help of Christians, oh. help of Christians, help of Christians. Mama, we are here begging you to intercede for us. Holy Virgin, Holy Virgin, Mama, we are here begging you to pray for us. Holy Mother, Holy Mama. The fifth station. Simon helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise thee. Because by your Holy Cross, you have redeemed the world. My dear friends in Christ, when the Jews saw how weak, how depleted of strength Jesus was, 
they feared he might die on the way before he was crucified. So they forced a man named Simon the Cyrenian to carry the cross behind our Lord Jesus. My people of God, our blessed mother was there that day and seeing how Simon helped her son to carry the cross. It was a relief on Jesus. It was also a relief on Mary. Do you know that when Jesus answers our prayers, it is a relief on Mary? Do you know that when we reject the spirit of the world and we seek the face of Jesus, it relieves the heart of Mary? Even when we carry our cross and follow Jesus, like Simon carrying the cross and following Jesus, in this case, helping Jesus, it relieves the heart of Mary. My dear children of God, we are thanking our Lord Jesus. For always giving us opportunity to share in his suffering. For by sharing in his suffering, we share in his victory. We reign with him. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 11 says, If we die with him, we shall also Live with him. And Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 12 says, If we endure with him, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will also deny us. My people of God, we have denied Jesus enough. The world has rejected Jesus completely. Jesus has just very few friends. He has just very few friends. Are you among the friends of Jesus? Are you among the friends of Jesus? Friends of Jesus carry the cross. They help Jesus to carry the cross. They help Jesus in the mission of his father. They help Jesus in raising the children he has given to us. In taking care of the family he has given to us. They help Jesus in his church. Are you a friend of Jesus? Look at the body of Jesus. Full of wounds. If you ask him, Lord, what caused all these wounds that have covered everywhere on your body? Jesus would say, these are the wounds I have received in the house of my friend. Zechariah chapter 13 verse 6. And the Bible says, And one shall say unto him, What are these wounds? 
in thine hand. Then I shall answer, These are wounds with which I was wounded in the hands of my friends. Judas wounded Jesus by giving him a kiss of betrayal. The executioners of Jesus, those who condemned him, the government of his time, wounded Jesus by condemning him. We also wound Jesus by committing sin. But now we have opportunity to reconcile with Jesus. Jesus has become so weak that he could barely carry the cross. What made him weak? Our sins. Our blessed mother saw the wounds, the weakness. Our sins caused her son. Yet, this glorious mother continues to love us. How do you explain that? For a mother to love the people killing her son. For a mother to love those wounding her son. Can you imagine that? That is unthinkable. But that is the character of Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary feared that Jesus would die on the way. Because he saw him so exhausted. My dear children of God, let us take strength in this moment and accept the will of God for us. Let us in this episode offer all our sufferings and troubles to Jesus. All those rejections, all those things that we remember and then we get heartbroken, we bring them to Jesus. Can you give it to him? Can you give those things to Jesus? They don't belong to you. Give them to Jesus. He knows what to do with them. If you think your life is full of trash, give that to Jesus. He can make a treasure out of the trash. Our blessed mother. We have not really come to love you the way we should. Forgive us, Jesus. Without whom there will be no salvation, we are really indebted to you, blessed mom. We love you and we love your son. We ask you to intercede for us to fully repent of our sins and help us never to sin again. And through your intercession, O oh mom, may we love your son always and do that which pleases him. And these and many more we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Give it to me, I bear it for you. Give it to me, I share it. What a morning in your heart, I will do it. If only you can give it to me. 
I know you are suffering, my child. I know you are pain, my daughter. I am the God of our flesh. There is nothing too hard for me to do. Just give it to me, and I will do it for you. Give it to me, I bear it for you. Give it to me, I bear it. What a body in your heart, I will do it if only you can. Give it to me. The sixth session. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, o Christ, and we praise thee. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My friends, a woman named Veronica, seeing Jesus suffering so much, and is sweating blood all over his body, sweat and blood dripping down his face. She decided to give him compassion. She took her towel, her handkerchief, and used it to wipe the face of Jesus. What a bold step to come out of the crowd that have rejected Jesus and identify with Jesus. Jesus bless Veronica for this out of love by giving her a miracle. Jesus can never be tired of doing miracles, not even when he was suffering. Nobody would be going through what Jesus went through and they would be doing work for someone, blessing people. No. The person will be crying. Not to think of someone else, but thinking of his sorrow. But in the case of Jesus, he continued to think of all of us. As he was crying across, he was thinking to today. That day, he thought of today. He thought of he thought of me. He thought of all mankind. And so a miracle was granted. As Jesus left an image of his face on the towel of Veronica. My dear friends, every time we identify with the suffering Jesus, in our neighbor, in the dirty villages, in the rejected, in the lonely, in the heartbroken, Jesus leaves an image of his holy face on us. Do you know that? There is no good we do to a stranger, to our neighbors, that will ever go in vain. No good, no love is ever wasted. You may not be appreciated for what you have done, but God blesses you. Is God talking to somebody tonight? Keep wiping the face of those that God, God has brought to your way. Keep doing it. You may not be appreciated by human beings. But what I am convinced and which I want to publish today in this message is that Jesus will publish his face on your life, on your destiny. He did it for Veronica. He still does it.
The face of Jesus was once clean, good looking, good to look upon, but the blood and the sweat disfigured it. Veronica came in and wiped the face of Jesus clean. Do you know that when we were born, our soul had only one sin, original sin. Adamic sin. The sin inherited by everyone except Jesus and the mother. For Jesus had no sin and Mary was conceived immaculately. Conceived without sin. Thereby qualifying her to be able to carry in her womb the sinless one. And this is a work of grace, not by the power of Mary. It is the work of grace. Then our sin begins to alter or disfigure us. But God loves us so much that He makes a way for us to wash our sins away. The sacrament of reconciliation in the church. The blood of Jesus washes us clean. Now don't forget. Our soul was once clean and beautiful when we were baptized. Through baptism, the original sin was gotten rid of. But then we continue to sin again. And sin continues to mar us, continues to disfigure us. But God, in His infinite love, continues to wash us clean. Through His church, through our fellowship with Him, even in our suffering, we can even wipe the face of Jesus in our suffering. Because, you see, there are two faces of suffering. The one, our face, the one face is the one in which we feel the pains, the, you know, the shame and other things. But then the other side, the other side of suffering, cleanses. Do you know that? Even in the purgatory, it's a place of suffering. But this is suffering that cleanses. You see, the suffering has two sides of it. Suffering of every true child of God. Christian suffering. It has two sides. The side of the pains we go through. And the side of redemption. The side of healing. Look at Jesus. He went through suffering. He was feeling the pains. But on that side of it, he was bringing redemption. For all of us. There are so many people who have died through suffering or in the course of suffering or sickness, something like that. And they eventually died. You see, most of the time, God uses such a suffering to purify the soul. There is a purifying power in suffering. And this is not what the world teaches or knows. This is, when we come to Jesus, we learn this. When we come to Him. How could our sins be purified or taken away if not through and by the suffering of Jesus? If not by His death on the cross?
So by his suffering, by the suffering of Jesus, we ask him to wipe away every stain on our soul. We love you, Jesus. We repent of all our sins. Help us never to sin again. Help us to love you always and to do that which pleases you. Our Blessed Mother, as Veronica was wiping the face of your son, you were gladdened. You saw that your son had some undisclosed friends. Help us to be the friends of Jesus in a world that have rejected him. In a world that is causing suffering to the sacred heart. May we be the Veronica's of this generation. Oh, our blessed mother. This and many more we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen and amen. Amen. You don't have to worry and don't you be afraid. Just consider the morning. Trouble may not last for long. For there's a friend in Jesus. He will wipe our tears away. And if your heart is broken, just lift your hand and say, I know that I can make it. I know that I can start. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hand. With Jesus I know I can make it. With him I know we can stand. No matter what may come my way. My life is in your The seventh station. Jesus falls a second time. We adore your Christ and they will praise thee. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Praise the Christ. Jesus fell the second time again under the weight of the cross. And this fall renews all the pain in his body that made his his sacred head to begin to suffer headache. A kind of migraine. Jesus. And our blessed mother was there seeing the fall of Jesus. She made a move to before the fall of Jesus, just like he was trying to get balance, not to fall. Mary Mary wanted Mary took a step to go and hold him. But the soldiers dragged her back. They had no respect for Jesus. Neither for his mother. Lord Jesus. So many times you have forgiven us. And so many times we have fallen into sin again. Through the merits of your second fall. Help us. Not to seek the ways of sin. Help us and preserve us in your grace until we die. Help us to call on you every time we are tempted. Our Blessed Mother, may your intercession obtain for us the grace always seek the hand of your son even when we fall even when we are sinking 
Holy Mother, may the light of your Son shine upon us that we may not fall into darkness. We love you, Jesus. We repent of our sins. Help us to never sin again. Help us to love you always. And do with us that which pleases you. These are many more we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Your pain is our gain. Your pain is our gain. Jesus, your pain is our gain. We love you, oh our God. Your pain is our gain. Baba, your pain is our gain. Your sorrow is our gain. We love you, oh our God. Your pain is our gain. Jesus, your pain is for my gain. Your pain is our gain. Oh, we love you, oh our God. Amen. The eighth station. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My dear friends in Christ, the women of Jerusalem wept with compassion on seeing Jesus walking to his place of death. It was a very disturbing scene for everyone with conscience. But this crowd had sold their conscience to the devil. And so they have lost every human sense of sympathy, not even to the Jesus of Nazareth, who had healed their children. As these women, on showing compassion to Jesus, we are weeping for him. Jesus turned and said to them, Weep not for me, but for your children. Mighty Jesus, we are sorry for all our sins. Because of the pain and the sadness they cost you. You love us so much and uh, you do not deserve the way we treat you, mighty Jesus. But like these women of Jerusalem, teach us how to show compassion to those who are suffering. Our blessed mother, you are the mother of compassion. You were strengthened seeing these women sharing in the passion of your son, heartbroken by the injustice done against your son. Our blessed mom, all these things couldn't have been if not for our sins. The only way we can console you and that of your son is to seek the life of your son. Put in us the desire to identify with Jesus. Like these women, they had a desire. They came to him. Help us have the boldness to come out of the world 
and identify with your son. Blessed Mother, as these women came, did not focus on the crowd, rather they focus on Jesus. Teach us how to discipline our flesh, not to focus on material things, not to focus on the systems of the world, not even in the world, but to focus on Jesus, your Son. He is the true substance. Help us, O oh Blessed Mother, never in any way to place ourselves above your Son. Rather, to place ourselves under Him, making Him the object of our existence, the essence of our living. These women had problems. They had family problems personal problems, but they left all these and came to seek your son. Help us, O Blessed Mother, not to be entangled by the beauty of this world or by the pursuit of material things at the expense of our souls. Rather, in everything, even in the gifts we have, may we use them to serve your Son. May we give Him glory in everything we do. Help us, O oh Blessed Mother, to always approach your Son in the season of rain, in the season of sun, in everything we go through, may your son be glorified. Thank you, Blessed Mother. We love you and your son. Help us to repent of our sins. And help us never to sin again. But to love him all the days of our lives. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. It's not an easy road. We are traveling to heaven. For many are his trials and the way. It's not an easy road, for the Savior is with us. His presence will give us joy every day. It's not an easy road. There are trials and troubles, for many are the dangers we meet. But Jesus guides and keeps us, that nothing can harm us. And smooth the rough part of our feet. No, no, it's not an easy road. No, no, it's not an easy road. For Jesus was beside us and brightens the journey and lightens every heavy load. My people, no, no, it's not an easy road. Oh, no, 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 it's not an easy road. But Jesus was beside us and brightens the journey and lightens every heavy load. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, Christ, and we praise thee. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Hmm. My dear friends, our Lord Jesus has fallen the third time. He was so weak that he could barely walk.
Yet the soldiers pushed him to walk faster. They were demanding that Jesus should walk faster when he had no strength to walk faster. So like a shepherd taking his rod to hit his cow so that the cow may move faster. So they began to whip Jesus, treating him without dignity. Jesus went through a lot. His third fall was a fall of falls. Oh. Jesus, by my weakness in temptation, you are going to Calvary to redeem me from being a slave to sin and temptation. Give me the grace, the strength to conquer temptation and sin that you have labored so much to obtain salvation for me and deliverance from sin. Oh, our Blessed Mother, who can describe all that you went through, even in this ninth session, seeing your son falling the third time. Yet, you understood the reason for all these, for the salvation of your children. The sacrifice of your son was so immense. Likewise, your sacrifice. Because you always cooperated with him to bring forth our salvation. Help us to love your son. Help us to repent of our sins. Even when we have fallen repeatedly into a particular sin. Help us, Blessed Mother, in this ninth station to be delivered from repeated sin. Jesus has fallen the third time. Many of your children have fallen the third time into sin. Thirty times into sin. Three hundred times the same sin. Mama, help us. Not to be mastered by sin, but to master sin. To overcome sin by running into your son and embracing his blood that washes away sin. Mama, touch us. Pray for us. Help us. Many of your children have marriages that have fallen several times. Many have married even several times and still the same problem repeating itself. Perhaps because of ancestral problems that may be sponsoring that serial fall. Mama, we ask you to pray for us that the root cause of this serial syndrome, serial fall syndrome, let it be broken now. Let that bondage be broken now by virtue of your intercession in the name of Jesus. Cain fell into the sin of killing his brother Abel 
for he failed to master the sin. And God warned him, say, Cain, I see sin encroaching you. Master it. But he failed. If he had a mother like you, you would have prayed for him to master the sin, to overcome the sin. Now we are privileged to have a mother like you. Help us, Mama, even in our weaknesses, to overcome temptations. Our Lord Jesus, we love you. We repent of our sins. Help us never to sin again. Uh, but help us to love you always and to do that which pleases you. These and many more we pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Give us the grace to follow you. Abundant grace to follow you, Lord. Give us the grace to follow. Your grace is enough for us. Give us the grace to follow. Abundant grace to follow you. Give us the grace to follow you. Your grace is enough for us. The Tentation. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, Christ, and we praise thee. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Oh! My dear people of God, the soldiers snatched the robe of Jesus from him. Jesus was stripped of his garment. This is a gentle way of saying that Jesus was made naked. Our sins straight to Jesus. Think of how mother was broken seeing all that his son was going through. Imagine all that Jesus had gone through for us. If he would go through all this, would he not also come to deliver you from the situation you are going through? Is there any situation we are going through that Jesus did not go through? But now, even in this very station, as the garments of Jesus was stripped, so we ask our Lord Jesus to help us to strip our soul of bad habits. We are asking him who is the master of our souls to help us to guide our souls to strip our souls of bad habits so that we can give all our love to him who is worthy of our love. Don't you know that? Our blessed mother, each time we come to this station, seeing how your son was stripped of his garment on account of our sin, then we see the the, the, the wickedness of our sins, it stars before us. Mama, we are sorry. How can we make friendship with your son, whom 
our sins have stripped of his garments. If not by living a life of righteousness. The opposite of sin is righteousness. Help us to make right our ways by seeking your son. Help us to take on the garment of righteousness that he has purchased for us on the cross of Calvary. Our loving Jesus, you are worthy of our love and help us to show you that love to its highest magnitude. Help us to repent of our sins. Help us never to sin again. Help us to love you always and to do that which is your will. Uh, these are many more we pray. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Oh, come and mourn with me a while. See, Mary calls us to her side. Oh, come and let us mourn with her. Jesus, our love, is crucified. How fast his feet and hands and earth, his blessed tongue with death is tied. His failing eyes are blind with blood. Jesus, our love, is crucified. Seven times he spoke, seven walls of love, and all three hours he silence cried. For mercy on the souls of men, Jesus our Lord is crucified. Amen. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ. And they will praise thee. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. My dear people of God, Jesus, at this point, has made it to the top of the mountain. Calvary. Very exhausted, he could hardly stand. Now they took the cross from him. But now the worst is about to happen. And Jesus was thrown down on the cross, thrown down onto the cross to be crucified. Oh, he stretched out his arms and offered his life to the Father for our salvation. The soldiers who have lost every human's conscience nailed Jesus to the cross. As the nails we are going through the flesh of Jesus, the pains that Jesus went through, was a painful episode in the heart of our Blessed Mother. Yes, it is true that the hands, the arms of Jesus received the nails, that his feet received the nails, but also mystically, 
the heart of our blessed mother also received these nails. Her heart was also stricken, nailed. The arrows that struck her son did not spare the mother. And after nailing Jesus to the cross, oh, they now push the cross to stand up. Jesus. Mighty Jesus. We give you our hearts. As you were nailed to the cross, nail our hearts to your sacred heart. That it may be one with you and in the heart of your mother. Nail our hearts to your heart that we may be always close to you. We love you, Jesus. We repent of our sins. Help us to never sin again. But to love you always. And to do that. Which brings glory to your will. These are many more we pray. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. Fairest of all, the earth beside, chiefest of all unto thy bride, fullness divine in thee we see, beautiful man of Calvary, drinking a dread and dreadful cup, crucified Jesus is lifted up. Bearing a guilt and misery, sorrowful man of Calvary, granting the sinners life and peace, granting the captives sweet release, shedding his blood to make us free, merciful man of Calvary, oh, the man of Calvary. Has won my heart from me. He died to set me free. Bless man of Calvary, oh, the man of Calvary. Jesus has won my heart from me. He died to set us free. Bless man of Calvary. The twelfth session, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Shall we kneel? After suffering for three hours on the cross, Jesus gave up his life to the Father and he died. Now that we are at the foot of the cross, Jesus is looking down on us from the cross. His blood is flowing now, and that blood of Jesus is locating somebody at this hour. Let that blood flow. 
Oh, Jesus. Mighty Jesus, through our sins, we deserve to be punished. But your death is our hope. You took the punishment we deserve. You took the death we deserve. And through the merits of your death, give us the grace that we shall not sin against you again, Lord. Give us the grace that when we die, we shall die as you want us to, not to die in the hands of the enemies. We entrust our souls into your hands. Even now, almighty Jesus, let your blood begin to speak life into your children. Let your blood destroy everything planned against your children from the kingdom of darkness. Even at this foot of the cross, may you heal your children. My dear friends, whatever place you are, you have the opportunity to talk to Jesus situation about the situations you are going through now. As the song is flowing, let the blood flow. The blood let your petition of Jesus begin to be presented to me. The blood of Jesus. Talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. We please. The blood of Jesus. Talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. We plead, oh, we plead. In the blood of Jesus. We plead, we plead, oh, the blood of Jesus. Power Jesus. in the Talk blood. Power in the blood. Oh. The power, power that can break every oath. That is the true. power that, is that can do miracles. The power that, the that can destroy every powers of darkness. I know the power. The hour has come. The Jesus, the hour has come. Why the people Destroy I said the captive free. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need we raise the power in the blood of the Lamb. We Jesus. raise the power in the blood of Jesus. We raise the power in the blood of Jesus. We raise the, the power in the blood of Jesus. I raise the power in the blood of Jesus. We raise the power in the blood of the Lamb. We raise the power in the blood of the Lamb. He raised the power in the blood of the Lord. Liberating power in the blood of the Lord. Talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. Power in the blood of the Lamb. So he healing power. Let in the every blood of and Jesus. be broken now. We raise the power in the, in the blood of Jesus. We raise the power in the blood of Jesus. We raise the power in the blood of the Lamb. Of Jesus. We raise the power in the blood of Jesus. The power of Jesus. We raise the power in the blood of Jesus. I raise the power in the blood of the Lamb. Liberation power is in the blood of the Lamb. Liberation power in the blood of the Lamb. Healing power is in the blood of the Lamb. The anointing is moving now. Healing power is in the blood of the Lamb. We raise the power. 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 Talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. We raise the power. Consecrate the power. Consecrate the power. Consecrate the power. Consecrate the power. Healing power. Healing power. The man of Calvary is at work now. The man of Calvary is moving now. He's going out to do good. He's going out to do good. He's going out to do good. The power of freedom. The power of freedom. In the blood of the Lamb, we raise the power. In the blood power. of Jesus, we raise power. the power. In the blood of Jesus, 
we raise the power in the blood of the Lamb. Hey. We raise the power in the blood of the Lamb. Receive your healing now the in the name of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Healing power is available now. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. The cross shall be defined. There is power in the blood of Jesus. The cross shall be defined. There is power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Chain, 
To break that thing for us, Mama, at the foot of the cross. To break every yoke. Let your children conceive. To break every Let the garment and the yoke of infertility be broken down. Mama, do something, oh. Mother, Power. Mary, do something. Oh. Power. Mama, do something. Oh. At the cross. <laughs> Mama, do something. Oh. Yes, somebody is feeling the anointing. Mama, do something. The anointing from yeah. Calvary. Mother, do something. Mother, say Jesus. something. Oh. Mother, do Jesus. something. Mother, say Jesus. something. Oh. We are at the foot of the cross. Mother, say something. Oh. Mother, do something. Yeah, Mother, Mother, do Mama. something. Mama do something, Mama do something, oh. Mama say something, Mama open the door, Mama do something, Mama, Mama do here, something, praying for you. Mama do something in our family, Mama say something, in our family, oh. Mama do something, the Mama do something, oh. Mama the fire that something. melts metal, Mama do something. The fire that melts rocks and mountains. The fire that melts problems. The fire that the cross. Mama Mama do something. Oh. Jesus the is that fire. Mama do something. Mama do something. Mama do Let something. Mama do something. Mama do something. The Ask Mama to do something. Mama do something. Mama when you ask her to do something, something she will do something. Mama do something. Mama do something. Troubles everywhere. Mama says something. You, mama do something. 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 Mama do my mother do something, no. Somebody is crying to get mother married. Mama do something. Mother do something. Mama do something, no. Somebody is crying to pass an exam. Mama do something. Troubles in our family. Mama do something, no. Somebody is crying because of the immigration problems. Mama do something. Immigration problems. Mama do something, no. We are tired, oh, Mama. Be Somebody is crying because of the situation in the family. Mama, Mama do something. Do something. Mother Mary do something. Oh. Mama do something. Oh. Look Mama, do something. Mama do something. If you oh. do something, the matter will end. Mama say something. Oh. Oh. Go everywhere. Mama do something. Mama say oh. something. At the foot of the cross. Let Mama, Mama say, say something. Mother say something. Oh. Mother Mama say something. something. Mama, say Let the woman Mama, know that to have a mother. Our hearts love are your broken. Mother, say something. Our, Our hearts, hearts are broken. broken. Mama, Mama, say something. Mama, Mama, do, do something. something. Mama, do something. Mama, say something. Mama, say something. Oh. Mama say something, oh, Mama, do something. Oh. Mother, do something, oh. Your children Mama, are crying. Mama, do something. Are you not going to watch the tears of your children? In our family. If you will only come to watch the tears of your son. In our family. We know that you will do better. Mama, do something. Mama, do something. Mama, do something. Do something, Mama. Do something, Jesus. Hell. At this hour... We lay these problems at the foot of the cross. Mighty Jesus, we thank you for choosing to die on the cross for love of us. And for love of you, we promise to do all within our, the grace you have granted us to seek your face. We repent of our sins. Help us to never sin again. Help us to love you always and do with us whatever you will. These and many more we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Days are few. We sorrow and care, heart, and lonely and dread. But our bodies are lifted up covering. At Calvary, at Calvary.
Calvary. Our body is a little of Calvary. Jesus is very near. All our bodies are lifted at Calvary, oh, at Calvary, at Calvary. Our bodies have been lifted at Calvary, oh, Jesus is very near. Verse 13 to session. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise thee. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Two of Jesus' disciples took Jesus down from the cross. And Mary, his mother, held him close to his heart. I mean, to her heart. And we are, in this moment... Seeing our mother as a mother of sorrows, and we ask her to intercede for us. Oh, our blessed mother, sorrowful mother, pray to your son for us, Jesus Christ, has died because of love of us. Help us to die for love of him. Not to deny him for the love of the world. Help us to love him always. We love you, Jesus. We repent of our sins. Help us to never sin again. Help us to love you always and to do that which pleases you. Amen. Amen. My soul magnify the Lord and let my spirit praise his name. For death could not turn in captive, even in the grave. Jesus is Lord, even in the grave. Jesus is Lord, even, even in the grave. Jesus is Lord, God, even in the grave. Jesus is Lord. Amen. The 14th session. Jesus is led in his tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The two disciples and Mary led Jesus in the tomb. It was not easy to see Mary Bearing her own son. That is not the prayer of any mother or father. Mary is broken. But she understands also the brokenness of her children. So even when we come to her in our brokenness, her intercession is the reason why we receive healing in our hearts. Mighty Jesus, you rose on the third day through your resurrection. Make us rise gloriously on the last day to be always with you in heaven, praising and loving you in the company of the angels and uh, our blessed mother. We love you, Jesus. We repent of our sins. Help us to never sin again. Help us to love you always and to do that which is your will. This we pray 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Begin our to thank Father, him now. thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank Lord, you, thank you, Lord, thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank For the man of Calvary. Son, oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Miracle thank worker, our blessed thank Mother you, Mary. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, oh. Thank you, Lord. Is somebody Lord. thanking thank heaven you, for Lord. what they have done tonight? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, for dying on the cross, Lord. It is thank good you, to thank, thank the Lord thank you, who died on the cross thank of Calvary for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. It is ingratitude not to thank him. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Our God, thank you, thank you. Our Savior, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Mighty Jesus, we kneel before you and ask you to fill our hearts with faith, with hope and charity and through repentance for our sins and a firm desire for amendment. Mighty God, you have loved us from all eternity before we existed before we we are created, before you even created the world, you loved each of us from the beginning, even before beginning. From all eternity, you love your children. Through all that you have done in these stations of the cross, may we live our life from today glorifying you and loving you. And this and many more we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. We also command all the spirits that are gone out in the course of this prayer to go to their bees. We thank you, our blessed mother, for always being with us, for leading us this prayer, for all the blessings received through your intercession in the course of this prayer. We are grateful for loading us with testimonies. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. And we decree that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. This and many more we pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. All the instruments that God used in the course of the prayer, we cover them with the blood of Jesus. And in a special way we lift our sister to the Lord in prayer, and we ask God to bless her mightily. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen and amen.